1975, 30 years ago. I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. Morning, Mom. Morning, Dennis. Boy, am I sorry. What's for breakfast? Oh, say, Mom, I just got a note from Jeff Stone. You know, he loves it in the air, and I... <laughs> What's the gag, Mom? Have you forgotten what time of year this is? Your Uncle Bob just paid his income tax. Oh, it's time for the annual economy, economy wave. wave. Right. Remember the lecture that always started like this? Money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> I was like a dog all year, made more money than I ever made before. You got a sense to show for it. <laughs> oh boy, mom, you sure got Uncle Bob down pat. Maybe you'll be different this year. And anyway, I shouldn't make fun of him because. family learned that money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> Worked like a dog all year. Made more money than ever before. Haven't got a cent to show for. <laughs> Just got a stitch up on our belt. Cut out on expenses. A penny saved is a penny earned. Yeah, that's what Benjamin Franklin said. Wait, you bet. And let me tell you something. The only thing square about that guy was his glass. <laughs> Just watch the little thing. The big... <laughs> What's this little thing? That's a scrambled egg. Somebody must have crossed the hand with a hummingbird. <laughs> well, I thought food was one way I could cut down. Cut down, but not out. <laughs> Heaven's sake, Margaret, I might as well eat nothing as this. Hold it. Chicken hawk. <laughs> I was merely making a point for the benefit of your comedian mother. The moment we leave here, you know she'll eat herself out of shape. I will not. I'll economize as much as anyone. Yeah, well, then bring home some food the next time you go to the market with a $20 bill. She comes home with no change and a sack I could stick in my pocket. Have you been marketing lately? Obviously not. But we'd have a refrigerator full of food and a cookie jar full of change. Oh, we would. Margaret. For $20, I can bring home enough food to nourish this family for a solid week. My mother used to send me to the store with a dollar, and I brought home a box of... There's the 20. The market is that away, and you'll find the prices went that away. <laughs> All right, Margaret. I, uh, I don't like to embarrass you in front of your son, but then you leave me no... Alternative. Want me to come along and help you carry all the groceries, Uncle Oh, Bob? no, no, thanks, Jack. I think the luggage compartment of the car will hold them. <laughs> the glove compartment will hold them. Really? <laughs> ah, uh -huh. thanks, Chuck. Thanks. <laughs> uh, oh, say, Chuck, I think I will need a little help after all. No, 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 not, not with this. The, the rest of the stuff that's in the car. <laughs> The rest of the stuff? I don't believe it. You've got those sacks stuffed with something. That's correct, Margaret. Good, wholesome, nourishing food. Well, Uncle Bob, this way is Oh, time. Chuck! You can let me help you there, boy. Well, I shouldn't have expected you to carry all this box of meat by yourself, then. Meat! That's impossible! You hit a cow! That's it! <laughs> Margaret, perhaps you'd like to examine the automobile. Then you can help Chuck and me carry in the rest of the stuff. You mean there's more? Well, mostly meat. You did this on twenty dollars? Well, no. Uh -huh. It came to nineteen eighty-four. <laughs>
change. For the cookie jar. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Mrs. McDonald. This is Leo the Butcher. Did Mr. Collins get home with all that meat yet? Yes, I don't understand. <laughs> well, would you do me a favor? I forgot to ask him what time my daughter should be at his studios for the photograph. Oh, uh... You, you, you mean he's going to shoot pictures of your daughter? Yeah. I figured I got quite a bargain. One sitting in his studio is a hundred bucks. And the meat only came to ninety-four fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Chuck. Thanks, boy. Ah. Well, here we are, Margaret. More meat. Meat, 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 meat. <laughs> $94.50. Yeah. You bet. And the choices? <laughs> what was that? It's Leo. He'd like to know what time you'd like to shoot his daughter. Right after I shoot Leo. <laughs> I'm working a law office. Yes, I know, I know. Here, I'm busy trying to see her. Now, according to this agreement, the first one that spends one penny over the budget for the two weeks allowance. They understand, they understand. They. Just, uh, we sign it, Margaret. Just put it down. Wait a minute, so I get my allowance from you, and so does Chuck, but who controls your loot? Here's the lie. Schultz, she's putting me on exactly the same kind of strict allowance as you have. I'm, I'm turning over all my money to her, now sign it. Well, turn over. <laughs> I've never seen so much distrust for a brother. I've never seen so much meat for $20. <laughs> hey, you are. You. Now, witness this, Chelsea. Mm, I used to work in a law office, We you know. know, we know. Uh, Just, do you, would each, you, would you uh, each of you affirm and testify would you to... you sign it, Blackstone? Put your name down. This is here over there, too. On the city of Anno Domini, 1957. I'm busy. I, Charmaine Schultz, seeing a sound mind and body... If you want to stay that way, sign it. What's the word, boss? <laughs> All right, family. Let's shake on this. Good. Some legitimate suspicious icon. Mark. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, but you I used, used to, to work in a law. law. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chuck. See you later, Chris. Come on, Uncle Bob. Chuck, we've got to stick to that agreement if it kills us. And it will. Well, we've got to grit our teeth and take it. No matter what happens, Uncle Bob has got to be the first to weaken. He won't, though. He, he's a man of iron. Well, never mind. Going up. Down. But that must stop. Who is Oh, my, oh, my Colette. I have just a judgment of Ben Farm. Really? I respect it. Because tonight is my big day, Mrs. Bobby. Big day tonight? Oh, big day. Big day. Oh, big, big, big day. He has promised that he's in the, uh, how do you say, faith of Tell Rude. Rude. Yeah, well, you see that he keeps his promise. Oh, I will. Uh-huh. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Lots of luck. Oh, sure, Bobby. Welcome to that baby. The man of iron is about to be melted. How you say? Down? <laughs> oh, yeah, melted. Down. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, Bobby. I brought that from Terry a beautiful gown just for tonight. You know something? You... A beautiful gown for, for tonight. Well, surely you do not forget our big day. See, that is why I rush back all the way from home. Of course, of course. Oh, it is a very exclusive gown. Yeah. And I uh, want to show it off in all the exclusive what, places. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Romanoff, Pierrot, Macambo, Coconut Grove, yeah, La Rue, oh, Sons oh, of Beach, Thomas Bond, Vine, Honey, Beach. honey, honey. You, you don't want to wear it out the first night, do you? <laughs> I'm not worried. You know, well, I am. Uh, <laughs> just wait here, just a second. I'll be right back. Sophie, I need Boss, I'm trying to break a family agreement just to take call. Oh, Schulte, you, you didn't take that family agreement seriously, did you? Oh, that, that was just a little gag to throw scare into Margaret and Chuck. Oh, you mean it isn't binding? Of course not. Oh, well, well, wonderful. Get, now, go back in and, and get the... What are you doing? They're calling Margaret. She saw a dress she wanted to buy in the window of the Broadway Hollywood, and now she can get it. Schulte, oh. either I... Wrong number. <laughs> either I get that money and get it right now. No, sir. Wait a minute. It's Go. locked up, and this is the only key. Uh, uh, oh, don't go. Well, hold it. Oh, but there is a customer here. Just, just, if it... 
A customer here? <laughs> I think you're smart, don't you? Okay, I'll collect the money from the customer. Hello? Hello, Mr. Collins. Daddy says you're going to take my picture. Daddy? Leo, the butcher. Oh, yes. You're, you're, you're Leo. Yeah, Daddy gave Mr. Collins $94 worth of meat to take my picture. You don't have to oh, well, wasn't that oh, nice of Daddy? Wait a minute. You just said right over here to the meat grinder. <laughs> Oh, good old Leo. I've never seen so much meat. You ought to see his daughter. <laughs> Did you photograph it? With a wide-angle lens. <laughs> oh, you know, this barter system of yours is going to be great. Look, you can photograph the grocer's Mar daughter, the milkman's Mar daughter. Mar Margaret, just, I wonder if just... the owner of the Broadway Hollywood has a daughter. Look, if he had... <laughs> Incidentally, speaking of that, Margaret, you know they have a dress in their window that is, is just perfect. Just perfect uh -huh. for you. Why don't you get it, honey, huh? On my new budget? Are you kidding? Oh, that, yeah. Well, look, Margaret, if you don't want to stick to that agreement, you can... Oh, no, not me. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where I'd wear it. I shall tell them to go out. Well, you never know when Paul Fonda will drop around. I haven't seen or heard from him for months. Oh, heck, it, it wouldn't surprise me if he showed up this weekend. Well, I'll believe it when I... <laughs> look, why don't you get the... Dr Hello. Hello, Mr. Collins. This is Leo the Butcher. Oh, I fall fonder. <laughs> you old son of a gun. By golly, is this a coincidence or, or not? You know, Margaret and I were just, just talking about you, Paul. Oh, how are you? I don't think you heard me, Mr. Collins. This is Leo the Butcher. I want to talk to you about my daughter. Would she like a date for tonight? No harm in asking. Hey, well, let me talk to him, Bob. Play hard to get. Make him anxious. <laughs> I don't have to ask her. She'll be tickled to death. <laughs> hey, Max B. Now, listen, listen, he's my guy. Let me talk to him. No, no, let me handle it, please. Go answer the door. I'll warm him up for you. Please, Martin, please. Uh, Paul, uh, could you hang on for just a little bit, please? Yeah, well, she, she has a visitor. Mm -hmm. One of those tall, handsome young fellows that's always dropping by to, to see her. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Leo. Hi, Margaret. Oh, my goodness. Dear goodness to you. Uh, Bob, was just talking to you on the phone. Phone? Oh, Bob? Why not to me? He wasn't. Why, that... He's trying to make me break our agreement. What agreement? <laughs> What's going on around here? Oh, you want to have some fun at Bob's expense? Always. Pick up the phone yeah. and wait for your cue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, if you think you was pretty then, where do you see her in this beautiful, dazzling new dress of hers? Sounds wonderful, Bob. Say, Paul, oh, when you come to... Talk to him now, Bob. <laughs> Paul, when did you get in town? Just flew in. Oh, come on over. Okay, I'll be right there. Wonderful. Goodbye. Want to say goodbye, Bob? No, no I'm through. Huh? Well, here I am. <laughs> I just got a thousand dollar bonus. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see him. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
boy, oh boy. You, you, you know that the humor of this thing just hit me, Paul. Oh, what, what, what a great gag. I, I gotta hand it to you, Fonda. <laughs> well, it was Margaret's idea. Yeah, I know, but the way you carried it off, my goodness, is it in cash? What? The bonus? Yeah. Oh, well, so we'll be happy to help you celebrate, right, Margaret? Wait. <laughs> sure. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I hadn't planned on a threesome. We'll go out to... Well, next now, what kind of guy you think I am? Anyway, I, I'm gonna bring a date. <laughs> Sure, we'll hit all the spots, Romanoff, Zero's, Motombo, Coconut Grove, La Rue's, Down the Beach, Comer, Bob, and Barney's... you Be are not invited. When, when we... <laughs> well, I, I naturally assumed that out of common decency and sense of gratitude, Paul would invite the man that got him his job. After all... General Shoup got me my job. When, when... <laughs> yes, yes, I guess in the strictest sense that's probably true. But, but since Shuby can't be with you tonight in person, you see, I, I feel that it is my duty as his second in command to take his place and more or less give him a full report after all that just basic military protocol. <laughs> well, we're civilians. Well, you may be, but he's in the reserve and I outrank him. Well, at the risk of being court-martialed, I'm taking your sister out alone. So break me, Colonel. <laughs> Car. I have transportation. This does not concern you, Mr. Bonham. My sister Margaret wishes to run downtown and pick up her new dress. No, I don't. <laughs> don't tell me that you're going to embarrass Paul by going out with him in rags and tatters. No, I'm going to ask my fairy godmother to wave her magic wand and change them into a perfectly good dress I got last month. <laughs> <laughs> and if we can find six white mice and a pumpkin, we'll have her change it into the convertible I just read it. <laughs> Well, buddy, I can sure tell you where to locate the pumpkin. <laughs> See you later, Bob. I doubt it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, say, Colette, you know, this gives me a, a brilliant, really brilliant idea. Uh, for dinner tonight, how would you like to have steak French style? Chez moi. That would... That means steak at your house. Yeah, isn't that a great idea? But no one will see my gown at your house. Well, what are you talking about? Of course they will. I'll invite some of the neighbors in. And, and honey, you see, I, I don't think I really should go out. Anyway, because I... I have just a little cold, and night air might... Uh, I think maybe you are trying to, how you say, sit me down. No, look, Colette. <laughs> sit you down. Lean me in the corner? <laughs> Stand you up? That's right. <laughs> you have a date with another girl, I... Oh, now, Colette, look. I haven't, I haven't. Please, cool down. Uh, honey, honey, I'll, I'll pick you up at 7.30, don't worry. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. General Shoup! Oh, how nice to see you, Paul. <laughs> <It's my girl. laughs> Your cap. Well, come on in the living room. This is such a nice surprise. Tell me, where's Julie? That beautiful wife of his is out of town, so I talked him into coming along with us tonight. Oh, good. Yeah, I feel like a third wheel. Oh, I wish Bob were here. He'd get you a date like that. And I know Julie wouldn't mind. No, I don't think she would either, but it's uh, kind of... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes? Hello, Mrs. McDonald. You're Maxine. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh-huh. Well, how nice you look. Oh, it's, it's for my date tonight. Oh? With Mr. Carl. <laughs> Bob? <laughs> yes, Daddy, if you could take me out tonight. Bob? <laughs> oh, 
that in just a second. Robin, I am warning you, I will not spend the evening in this house. Honey, you don't have to. You see, I, I just stopped by to pick up my top coat. <laughs> I am sorry. Well, I know you are. And, and I'm planning an evening for you tonight that you'll just never, never forget. <laughs> really, Bobby? <Bobby's? laughs> of course not. Uh, and this is Mr. Fonda. Maxine? Bob is taking Maxine out tonight. Bob? Yes, he asked Daddy. I guess he's too shy to ask the girl himself. Bob? Bob? <laughs> Gen, 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 General Shoe. Hi, my Oh, hi, Paul. Hi, yes. <laughs> well, how 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 are you, Shoopy? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> hi, Margaret. Oh, I'm fine. Fine. Yes. How is how is uh, is Julie? Oh, she's great. Oh, that's. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's nice. I know. <laughs> Bob, can you get General Shoop a girl for tonight? Hold it, just a A handsome guy like Shoopy? Oh, sure, I can get him a girl like that. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll get my address book. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. thousand dollar bonus he suggested we start off with romanoff then go to zero's macambo the coconut grove larue's down the beach oh uh, i mean then i am going with you what boy when bob says he'll get a girl like that he means like that <laughs> well, come on everybody let's get going oh wait where's bobby oh bobby isn't going with us he's got another date aha uh -huh. i knew it. oh Colette, what do you care you've got general shoes The part of Paul Fonda was played by Lyle Talbot, Colette Dubois by Lisa Gay, Maxine by Maxine Gates, Leo by Ralph Dumke, and General Shoup played himself. Furs by Furmans of Beverly Hills. This is Bill Baldwin speaking. Seventy-seven Sunset Strip. Seventy-seven Sunset Strip. Seventy-seven Sunset Strip. I'll lose the beat, baby. Have to check a man about a mission. A street that wears a fancy label. That's glorified in song. And Which one of you do I have to kill now? The most exciting people pass you by. What about the girls? Shiniest in town. 
Hello. You left in such a hurry, you forgot something. Oh, and what's that? Me. Craft Acor, supplier of quality ceramic wall and floor tiles. And...